All right, no games. We jump straight into it, man. This is when to move stop loss to break even. So uh, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So uh, first thing we're going to go ahead and do is draw our levels, of course. So let's go ahead and start off on the higher time frames. As you guys know, if you guys are uh, part of stack mode, you guys know I like to start off with the daily or the weekly time frame first. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and draw a zone at all time highs. And I'm going to go, excuse me, go ahead and uh, copy and paste and draw a zone down below at the uh, all time lows there. So then, uh, or most recent all time lows here. So um, you guys have to just get good at reading recent price. So it, a lot's really easy to do this on the weekly or the daily. <laughs> my apologies, and I really do apologize. Uh, hiccup in my fault, but um, yeah, you guys want to be making sure that you're drawing your zones on the daily or the weekly time frame. This way, you guys are going to be ensuring your um, highest probability trades because this is where the true liquidity is. And as you guys can see, using the uh, swing points or swing levels and liquidity by Leviathan indicator. You guys are going to be able to see the true volume down here at the very tops and bottoms, uh, indicating that this is uh, high levels of selling and uh, buying at the tops and bottoms. And then from there, you guys can scale down to the four-hour time frame. I'll turn off this indicator and uh, go ahead and uh, scout for any um, valid zones that look valid for you. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe I see a zone here since I see price being topped out here. And then I go ahead and I see price uh, creating a bottom here stretching out to all-time highs. So this lets me know that there is a pretty valid zone um, around this area about here like this. So, yeah, so that's going to be this zone here. So, yeah, so I see about three zones here that I see that are valid. So after I've gone ahead and drawn my zones, I'm going to go ahead and just lock them up. Lock them up. This way you guys don't accidentally drag them, and these are going to be the only zones you guys need. Once again, I make it so easy for you guys. Like, I'm dropping real sauce for y'all right now. And I play with Heikanashi Candlesticks as well. You guys can go ahead and uh, click on Heikanashi as well by clicking the drop down next to your candle style and click on Heikanashi. I use it to identify um, if reversals are confirmed and identify breakouts and stuff like that. So that's just how I play with it. Um, but as far as this on the NQ here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, check something out here. So let's say that you wanted to short all-time highs, right? Um, let's just say you were taking this trade. So I'll go ahead and now head over to Paper Trade here, uh, just to go ahead and uh, put some orders down and just show you guys something. Once again, not a paper trader, of course. See my results, but um, boom. So let's say you have a stop loss of about up here, um, and let's let, let's say you wanted uh, to take profit. Um, let's say about here, right? Um, even though final take profit for the zone is down here. But let's say you just wanted to uh, trim here. You know, let's say all the way down here just to make it easy. Now let's go ahead and draw our short position. We're going to go ahead and draw it to where our entry is in the middle of it. We're going to draw the stop loss to the very top of the highs. And we're going to go ahead and draw this to the bottom of the lows like this here. So as you can see, it's going to be for a 1 to 10 risk to reward ratio here. So it's a uh, pretty confirmed here. So this is going to be a pretty solid trade. Um, it's not too, too difficult. So as far as that, you're going to be able to go ahead and measure that out. Once you have measured that out, um, you're going to be able to go ahead and trim in between. So I advise you guys scale down to the 30 minute or the hour time frame. And um, you guys can go ahead and uh, continue to take profits down below continuously like that. So it uh, just makes it extremely easy. And then it just makes you know, it gives you an extremely easy time. Um, when you guys scale down to the higher time frames or lower time frames after you've drawn your levels off of the higher time frames. Um, so after that, you guys can go ahead and um, after you've set your take profits up wherever you guys do want it. So let's say you have a take profit here, for example. So you have one about here. I'm going to go ahead and color the line as well. It's going to be white. Draw it at the bottom for you guys here. So let's say take profits here, right? So as soon as you guys hit take profit one, that's when I want you guys to go ahead and drag your stop loss to above break even. You guys don't want your stop loss exactly at break even due to the fact that there's slippage and fees and stuff like that. So you always want to put your stop loss a little bit um, further at break even. Just do the fact that you guys are going to secure your profit and it's going to cover any fees or slippage, especially for my Forex traders and stuff like that. So just you want to make sure that you're dragging your stop loss above break even after you hit your first take profit. This way, you guys are going to be securing in um, an ideal trade. Um, you're going to have a still fair, decent risk reward on your first take profit. This is the one at 3.73. Um, in my opinion, in trading, as long as it's over a 1.2, it's going to obviously be profitable. Um, so you want to just be sticking to your risk. And um, 
So yeah, this is going to be a uh, multiplicative of uh, 1.3, almost a 1.4 risk to reward on the first take profit here, which is definitely solid, which definitely gives us a good point to drag stop loss to break even. Um, you don't want to just be sitting in a trade, um, honestly being like take profit or, or, or stop loss. And it's like, that's fine, honestly, if you're a scalper, but if you're a higher time frame swing trader, um, there's honestly big news events and just certain things that could happen. Honestly, a company could crash tomorrow or just really come out with some really unfortunate news that could unfortunately just clip right past your stop loss and just un uh, result in an unfortunate loss, um, even if you were winning. So you really just don't know in the market, but ideally that doesn't happen too, too often, but just to go ahead and protect yourself and protect your capital, because in trading, that's really what's the most important thing. Is protecting yourself and protecting your capital. Um, a lot of people are coming in this game, um, coming in, just taking multiple trades, thinking that they're going to get rich relatively fast. Um, the more trades you win, that's the more you're going to get rich, not the more trades you take. Um, the more trades you take, the more you're probably going to lose money. So you guys want to make sure that you're taking high probability setups and you guys want to make sure that you're keeping your win rate uh, fairly decent. But most importantly, making sure that your risk management's on point. Um, so yeah, so as you guys can see here, it's going to be for um, about a one to four here for this. Um, after your first take profit, drag your stop loss to break even. Make sure that your profit is secure. Don't lose money after you guys have already won on a trade. Don't hold past your first take profit without dragging your stop loss to break even. Because if you were a really up good, because most of the time, especially on trades that I take, first take profit is already insane profit. So it's absolutely monstrous. So at that point, it's not really worth it to go ahead and uh, force a breakout, etc. Um, although it, it really does help as well to um, if you guys have a hard time holding, it does help to have multiple contracts. The more contracts you guys have, the more you guys are going to be able to trim along. And um, I really advise you guys set alerts as well when you guys uh, hit take profits as well. Um, I use Heikonashi, so it's going to say only once. But if you guys use normal candles um, like these, then uh, you guys would just... Um, right click it and then click the um, only once button um, and it just makes it extremely easy for you guys so it would look like this and just say every time and you guys can every time price would cross the line then you guys would get alerted on your phone or uh, your computer or whatever you guys use and then um, you guys will be able to go ahead and um, see your um, see what price is at right now and then you can go ahead and make your decision from there so don't get reversed on. I see a lot of people hold too long, and a lot of people don't really know how to set take profits. Um, it's really unfortunate. I make it extremely easy for you guys. You want to scale down to a smaller time frame and set your take profits. You guys can also use the swing points and liquidity by Leviathan indicator as well uh, to identify where volume is at key areas. So it just makes it extremely, extremely easy for that as well. So then from there, you can go ahead and uh, use the hour time frame as well too, and uh, just zoom out. I personally like to use Heikonashi candlesticks just because it gives me an easy idea to eyeball the charts and pretty much see where everything is. So um, I'm very thankful for that. You know, thank God, alhamdulillah. Um, yeah, so it just gives it an extremely easy sense and it gives you guys an extremely time um, to just know when to drag your stop loss. So after you guys hit your first take profit, you guys don't have to have your take profit all the way at the uh, final take profit. There's going to be many take profits in between your final take profit. That's how you ideally should be trading. So I'd like to set a take profit here. And then, you know, I'd maybe set another one take profit. Um, let's say maybe here. And then, you know, the final one is going to be, um, let's say here. And then one more take profit, let's say maybe down here. And that's just, that's really how I would play it. Um, you know, depending on the amount of contracts you guys have, you guys can be more flexible. If you guys have less contracts or if you guys have a small account, you guys ideally want to be trying to hit one big bang trade because one big bang trade on a small account is going to give you the ability to have a bunch more contracts and be a lot more flexible and compound your account and play differently from there. So um, if, for all my small account people out there, um, I really recommend you guys try to look for one big higher time frame setup, um, especially if you're on options as well, since there's not margin or anything. Uh, play a far out contract for pretty cheap and uh, catch the swing trade, inshallah. So that's going to give you guys some really good results, hopefully. Um, and you guys are going to start seeing a lot of the levels I play. Um, you hit take profit kind of in like usually less than a week. So see here, Tuesday the 5th and hit take profit on the 8th. So yeah, usually about like three to seven days is how long it takes for me to hit take profit. Um, I don't usually sit for trades for too, too long. Um, sometimes two days. Sometimes one, depending if there's really nuts price action. Um, there's been times like on some Apple reversals, I've had like eight points, nine points of price action in a day. So it really just depends. 
But um, if you guys want to get with me for mentorship, first call is going to be free. And then you guys are going to be able to um, speak with me as well. And we'll be able to go ahead and go over entries and stuff like that, etc. And um, yeah, you guys can also go ahead and join my Discord as well for my one day free trial um, for my signals for all the trades that I give. We're actually in some fraud pool trades right now. I'm going to be doing some recaps on, so I'm going to do a lot for that. So yeah, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. And uh, it's been Stack Mo Chris. Make sure you guys are stacking up. Stop spending your bread. Invest. And uh, take care of your family. Pray to God. Peace. I'm giving a one day free trial in my stack mode trading discord for my exclusive signals. Here, I'm going to be giving entry and exit alerts, levels and trade breakdowns for futures, options, as well as crypto traders. You guys can also purchase lifetime access to the signals where you guys can pay once and have access to the signals forever. Here, you guys will also find a link for my one on one mentorship sign up and let's discuss how to get the best entries and let's chat about strategy, risk management, psychology and figure out what's holding you back. I want to help you guys get profitable and payments will be flexible. I'm working with all budgets for my mentorship. If you guys want to help get profitable, make sure you guys join my discord and inshallah, let's make some money on.